Hello and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we're going to start talking about some of the wonderful holiday opportunities that we have here in Hampton. My guest is Lucy Talbot with the History Museum. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for having me. I am so excited. You guys are going to do something new this year. We are. We're actually launching the first or inaugural holiday market we're doing in downtown Hampton. As a museum, we really want to celebrate the culture of Hampton. And of course, we want a great farmer's market downtown. So we're combining those two ideas. So we're going to have all those wonderful things you have at a farmer's market. And but now see, this is where I, I think uh -huh. a farmer's market is farmers who pull up from their trucks mm -hmm. and sell you produce. And I think farmer's market today is a little more craftsy, hippy dippy. You're, so where, where are you in that range? Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say we're hippy dippy, but <laughs> but <laughs> Etsy. No, yeah, exactly. No, the idea is we want to celebrate those things that people make in their homes, people crafts, people artists make locally. So there are there is going to be a bit of that. Because there's, there's not a lot growing, right? You know, a little bit right now. Exactly, but you know, you also have these wonderful things like canned goods that were made from the from, summer produce. Okay. So we are going to have some produce. We're going to have some fresh meats. We're look from local Ooh, farms. We're hoping to that. actually the have seafood. seafood. Maybe. Exactly, and of course then what you make from, as I said, the produce from earlier in the spring and summer. So for us, it's about celebrating what we grow here, letting people learn about that, because that's certainly a big part of our culture, what we grow and eat. And then all these crafts and all these arts. For us, it's about celebrating who we are and kind of learning along the way those original things that we've made and kind of the traditions we're keeping up today. Well, and it's so nice to be able to give people unique gifts. You know, they're not going to get another one like it. There's only the one place you can get there. If you don't have time to make things by hand, you can at least support those who do. And what's so nice is our day is November 29th, and it is Small Business Day, Local Business Day. So it's a way for you to really celebrate buying local and supporting local businesses. And for us, it's also obviously kicking off the holiday season. So we do hope mm -hmm. people buy a lot of gifts. And then, of course, it's a wonderful thing. You know, after going to the mall, fighting all that traffic, which is wonderful, and the mall is wonderful, but there's something about going local and going away from all that traffic into the beautiful downtown area we have here in Hampton and really visiting. And then, of course, after you go to the market, you can go to a local restaurant and have a nice lunch. So we're hoping people will come and spend the day downtown. I think, you know, that's a little bit of a different idea. And last year, I know um, people were actually tweeting from downtown for Shop Local and from Phoebus, and we did some promotions, too. It is a different a really different shopping experience. And some people like one, some people like mm -hmm. both. Right. You might like the frenzied Black Friday crowds, but you know this is another way to do something. And there's other things downtown too. You've got the Virginia store, you've got Blue exactly. Skies, you've got Cricket, you've got a lot of other um, gift kinds of places you can go while you're down there. And for us, we always want to think about tradition. And of course, the gifts and the produce you could buy at the farmer's market during the day, which is from 11 to 4, that's when you can do all this wonderful shopping. But then we really want to create a tradition, and we've been doing it for a few years. We're going to have our first light immediately following. So that's a great way for you to come make heirloom ornaments. We have these wonderful ornament crafts where kids can make those wonderful ornaments that you keep until they're 80. And you know, you hang them on the tree every year and it's a really nice way to celebrate those traditions. We'll have Christmas caroling. We'll have a huge, huge train display, model train display in our great hall. It'll take up the entire great hall. Oh wow. And one of the local railroad modeling clubs is really pulling all the stops out and bringing that. So that'll actually be open for the week prior, for the full okay. week prior to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Okay. But then um, that'll be in there that night. And of course, then we'll be doing these activities. That's from really 4 to 6.30. So it's really 11 to 6.30. It's it really an all day is. thing and people can come and go based on whether they're more interested in the shopping or more interested in the kind of family, fun, make and take celebrations. Exactly. But, but looking at the purchase crafts does lead right into make your own ornament, really do does. this yourself. Mm -hmm. Here's how you can do that handmade 
experience. Yeah. So we're hoping with you all providing all the materials and instructions, Isn't which that really nice? helps. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so it really is a great day to kind of celebrate Hampton. And for us, it's about the history, of course, and not only the cultural history that we're celebrating with the market, but then, you know, actually really what's considered the first Christmas in this entire country right. happened right here in Hampton because when the settlers went inland uh, to Jamestown, they were really struggling to find food. So they actually came back up the James and they actually came back to Hampton and were greeted with this wonderful feast. Uh, the Native Americans here, of course, were um, maybe not uh, being as generous as you might think because I think they were really showing the power. You know, we uh -huh. have these resources. And it was really a, a cultural meeting that was important to all of us, but it certainly was important to John Smith and his crew. And those Native Americans really saved them in many ways. They gave them um, a wonderful feast that really fortified them. And you know, it, it, I was doing some research on this the other day. It probably, it wasn't the first time Europeans ha were in the New World for Christmas, but no. it is the first recording of a celebration. Exactly. And um, they didn't always celebrate Christmas on <laughs> December 25th. The calendar was different, yeah. things were all different, but it was that celebration of the holiday for the first time that we know of. Exactly, and if you come to the museum, you'll see a wonderful quote on the outside of our building. And that was actually what John Smith wrote in, in his own words about coming to Hampton that time and really having this wonderful experience where they were given Oysters sustenance, and, I yes. know. <laughs> especially oysters, I mean, what a treat for, oh for Englishmen at that yeah. time. Especially people who were not doing well in their new surroundings and were very, very hungry exactly. and Exactly, the hunger time, they yeah. call it. So, yeah. but Or the starving time, I should say. I think I've got hunger games on my mind. But um, anyway, for us, we want people to come and not only learn about those things, but really have a wonderful time downtown. And we're hoping then, of course, they'll come into the museum and visit our exhibits as well, because that will be the last weekend of our contraband show, which is closing. It's been really a groundbreaking show, and the contraband show will be closing the next day on November 30th. Oh, okay. And you've held that one over. It has been really popular, but we do need to let people know if you haven't yeah. seen it yet, exactly. this is really your chance. Okay, so Lucy, is there a cost for this? No, everything is free. Of course, we love you to come and visit, maybe donate some to help with our educational programs. But for us, it's about making sure we're providing these great programs to the entire community so everything is free. That's wonderful. And I will say, I have um, paid for my museum <laughs> membership and I've more than gotten my money's worth just with Thank the concerts you. and the other events that I've been to regularly. It, um, I'm sorry I cheated you out of money, but by being a member, you get mailings, you know what's going on, and um, it makes it easy, well, easy to pop out and, and go to that something. that is really something for us that helps us kind of sustain everything we do. Those memberships allow us to plan ahead. We know what we can do with the resources we have. And it also shows that the community really does support what we're doing at the museum. So it means a lot when decision makers look at the museum. Memberships is a really good way to judge if what we're doing is providing the right services to the community. And um, our memberships have grown dramatically. Actually, our attendance in the last two years have grown by 126%. Well, congratulations. Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank so you. all these things you guys are doing, and I know you know you or Seamus or, or Mike Cobb is on this show pretty frequently. Right. Thank you. So those are paying off, I guess. Yeah, it really is. It makes a difference. And we often hear comments that people are seeing us on this show, and it makes a difference. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, and I look forward to November 29th. It should be fun. I love crafts. It is a way to give people something that is truly unique. And you know, it's also one for the gift bag, one for me. Because you really, it's, it's hard to shop oh, without, that's true. <laughs> without oh, treating yourself you once in a while. To. You have to. OK, well, thank you, Lucy. And thank you for watching. I hope to see you out on November 29th for the craft market at the History Museum, and also for the first light celebration. I think that is a growing way and a way to celebrate with the kids or just as an adult and go to the caroling and make your own heirloom ornament. Thanks for watching.